all right welcome to my channel this is going to be the official intro to my channel um i've tried to do an intro with telling a story on slender man but the videos never worked the first one was very grainy the second one i recorded it yesterday it did not work to transfer to this phone to my computer and i couldn't load it anywhere so i was just like you know what i'll just do it again don't worry about it okay but I think it's because I should um, elaborate on the videos I have on my YouTube channel. That way I could actually introduce my channel because um, it's come to my attention that this is my channel. Okay, and I was using it as, you know, just like a little portfolio for my videos and stuff. But you know what? It's everything. It's about me. We are about to, um, I want to start a blog. I want to start a blog on my life. Other than my life, I want to do my thesis on the beliefs and theories I have that connect to other YouTubers. And I want to do my gym. You know, little things. Just showcase everything I can do. Like I said, it is a channel. So, might as well use, use it for what it is, right? So, yeah. So, that's what we're going to be elaborating. I have a lot of things to talk about. I'm very strange. So, let's get to it. So I started off with, um, you know, just following bands, friends, you know, um, just taking videos of them playing their music instruments. Um, I was in a music video. I was actually in three music videos. Um, you will find them. One of them is for Gap Gacha, um, Latinos Presente. Um, you ain't really ready for that I'm a connoisseur, lyrical carnival That was given a weapon, we throw the yard of war De las favelas de Brasil Populares de Medellín Represento los que mueren por vivir Y sobresalir, gonna come up Chasing the dream, no matter the scheme Pa' lo que se... It was it three videos? Yeah, three videos, Dark Side And for E&Y, featuring O.V. and Elijah So you'll find one of the videos there I could... I don't give a damn, I'm a black box other videos um is queen's cats you know it's all about queens it's all about new york city this is um the music spot the new music empire where you gotta make it you know the east <laughs> so then um i moved on to animation you know i should have strengthened that skill and i would have been much better now i would have transferred to my ig i seen many people make it in that so but i didn't continue it i started learning something else you know i like learning a little bit of everything so so yeah so that's basically my cat the one that i'm basically also doing this for these videos because there's like that thought that if you don't do something something might be taken away from you and now i have that belief because he actually passed away earlier this year but you know it could be I know it's not that but it's just a mental thing that people have in their head you know he was old but he was my bestest best friend and yeah he was like I don't have a lot of family member like I have family but I'm not really I'm not close to them so it's just like my mom and my cat are like the closest things to me so everybody else is just like I care for you but I don't know I don't know I don't know how it would be not not to have you you know it's like so then um, a little productions that I did for friends I do a little bit of music I was an intern for a photographer they used to do weddings that's why you might see like a little wedding thing there um, I did a little bit of guitar play but then you know like I said I move on to other things instead of writing I actually do a little editing on GarageBand for Mac I like it very much thank you for, very much for that um, application in the computer I found out about it by myself and I was showcasing my music on that too. That way, GarageBand becomes, you know, not, not seen as such a basic thing and also not something that Apple is going to take away and actually start charging for. Because that's not my intention. Alright, um, then I did some new gym free trials. So I was going to do that, but then I started school and my school has a gym. So I was like, you know, I have a gym, why am I going to go to the gym? But I do want to do it like as a journalist. So we'll get to that eventually, hopefully. But I don't think anytime soon. Um, then I did my Nectar Mattress review, which I still have. I can no longer give it back. Um, but they actually gave me a... Um, Something to put on top of the mattress that was supposed to be more firm, which it wasn't. But I flipped the mattress and it's much better. It's actually very firm now. I will do a full review and I will show what's going on in my bed. Okay, then I did my squeaky floor fix, which I learned from different videos in YouTube. From, you know, just watching people and then common sense came in and, you know, it happened. Thank you very much.
much. But oh, because it wasn't just one, it was, it was a few. I watched at least 20 videos, or 25 videos before I go in and do stuff. Then I will get into my ghost videos all in one. So I will skip that one, then I went to the Sub Brooklyn Challenge. I tried it. I'm actually going to catch that song and actually make something out of it. Then I will be doing also a lot of reviews on products. Doing two to the side do Vikings. I'm a girl. Did you see this? This is helping me a lot. My wrist was hurting a lot. Um, but I will do reviews on this on its own time. Then I talk about my college experience with the... What, what do we call her? With the president of John Jay, which she kind of brushed me off and saying hi to the kids just because I have said that it is the system that is a problem and it is the system that is a problem. So I don't want to elaborate on it because I'm also talking about the KKK in that video in which we confirmed just recently that, you know, they're very, they influence a lot in the United States. They are very much in the system, very, very much in the system. I'm not going to talk about the problems right here because I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings either, but everything, like I said in the video, everything will be done accordingly. Um, then I have my IG fictional truth and the NASA in New York City story, which are, um, fictionals um there are productions i will be putting moonwalker productions whenever it is a production that i do edit my videos and add music to it and i was thinking of doing that my introduction but due to the music i might not be able to then i have my um the nasa video which is in cyan island and it looks very creepy i actually want to know the when the video starts there's a little face right it actually looks like an alien you know it's just a creative it's a creative showcase of how you can compile things and make it look eerie okay so those are my the basic videos that i've done what i will be doing but i'm mostly going to concentrate in my paranormal stuff so my the first paranormal video i actually loaded here was four months ago which is right when the um the pandemic started so you know we were all home had to exercise in my living room had the windows open because they told us that the windows had to be open so all this air could come in and we could you know long wise and i took a picture you know picture a normal picture you know how in instagram you're in your story and you just put and join the outside which is another building in front of outside of my window which is funny you understand it was the irony of enjoying the outside so you know I'm chilling I tend to go back to my stories just to see who is looked and just look at my stories you know I like to check my work look at my work and I noticed this part of the face this part you know how like it shadows you see how it shadows down here and I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? Like, it looks like something. And then I see the sockets, like something sunk in. And when it sunk, sinks in, it's like two eyes. And you see the, the, the nose, the, the lining of the, of the face. You don't see this part, because in this part, there's something there, like a little flower base, like a little one. But then I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me keep looking. So I started putting filters and I, I, I see the sockets. I see the eyes and I see like the eyes are like buggy eyes, you know, like lizard big sockety eyes. So it gave me that sinking feeling. So I was like, oh, am I bugging? Am I, am I, am I like, am I seeing things right now? What am I, what am I, what's going on? Boom. I put filters, loaded it up to YouTube because I was watching YouTube. That's when I started watching the series in YouTube of like all this um, scary stories, uh, hunted people, and it, it, you know, like, um, I'm sorry, I, ju I just saw something and it just like took me out of line. Um, the reality games. I follow them a lot. I'm going to do a ranking on YouTubers that have presented them and how well they presented them. I am proud, proud, proud of the work. So, so yeah, so I'll be doing that, that for you guys too because I believe everybody that does good work should get the credit that they should get. You get me? Um, this light is making my nose sweat, so I apologize. And I do have a little bit of allergies. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed. Um, my second video uh, was about the angels' experiences. I was just talking about energies and angels and stuff. And when I was talking about angels some while, um, something glazed my face. When hair glazes you, it's different. You understand? Like, I actually felt something like that. And it gave me a sense of peace. And something was going on a couple of days later that gave me assurance that everything was going to be alright. 
and everything was all right okay um the third scary video was my ig scary video which is right here the apparition in flushing new york city i was coming out of the gym i go to the pool and well i used to go to the pool in flushing meadow park and the gym and when i come out i make my way through flushing i'm waiting for the 66 and i'm looking you know you're looking you're just i'm listening to music but i feel something and i look at that i look at the corner of the window right and then I look to the other side and I see like this thing just going in and out. Like, you know when something's waving at you? Like that. Like, hey, I'm here. And I'm not the type to freak out. I don't like freaking out. I've learned not to freak out. A lot of things have happened that I will tell you guys that will make you understand that I have I haven't mastered my my abilities to not freak out, but I have managed it. Learn to manage it. Because I think that if I see something, I will freak out. But I, like, I've heard stuff. I've seen that. But I didn't freak out. Like, I felt like it was wanted to be seen. You know what I mean? So, boom. I I took it. I loaded it up. This was in 2018. People told me, yeah, something something is there. And I didn't think of loading it into into YouTube. So, it's it was there. But it all, those type of things, when you see stuff like that, it stays with you. It's like, uh... It leaves you a mark you understand and I will tell about other things like in what happened to me in Kings Park what happened to me in Ecuador what happened to me here it just leaves a mark it never leaves you you understand and I think when you like come to realize that something may be trying to talk to you you're like okay you know what I'm gonna talk about it I'm gonna see what else it is and I'd rather talk about it and keep it in a blog then forget about it you understand maybe when i'm old maybe when i have dementia imagine i get dementia and this is the memories i have and it scares me so no i'd rather be like no you handled the girl you handled it so the next story then i went home everything was good like i'm not the type to freak out and i will tell people that if something's bothering you and you look at something but you're not sure about it please go take out your camera Take that video, analyze it later, just follow your feelings, okay? Follow everything you see. And if you think something's going wrong, don't take that pill. Don't take that. Yeah, don't take the pill. Don't take the drugs. Don't take the drink. Don't take the boy. Don't take the house. Trust me, follow those feelings. But also, do your research, okay? Without research, without knowledge, you could fool yourself. So follow up. That's what I'm saying. Find out later. Analyze later. Do your research. Um, the, 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 blah, blah, blah. the next video was my IG scary story was um, the face apparition I'm sitting on my bed I look up and the first thing I noticed was the beady eyes you know how the eyes are so well made like so well aligned with each other and then you when you kind of see a face and a hairline like that you automatically make a face it's something of the eyes it's something of the brain but the fact that the mouth is so well open you kind of see like a shadow in the inside of it and it looks like it's screaming i'm just like it like it gave me that sinking feeling that relax okay you are seeing this take out your phone just take the picture of it and go out to it say uh good things to it and just erase it i tend to get mad I do tend to get mad that's why i take out my camera and i'm like okay i see you don't disrespect me don't be in my room la da la da la but then at the same time i'm like see the light go to the light please go to the light and i from hunted um like what is that the hunted i believe with like famous ghosts or like fa the famous being hunted something like that little lady said that um ghosts follow the light and you know i may have that light and i noticed that in many of my pictures there are ghosts and i will be showcasing them for you a little later and i lost my breath saying that and um so yeah so i'll be talking about that so yeah i saw that i took it then i went and my blanket is over my door because i you know and it's just funny now anytime my bed is not in front of it anymore i move my bed um something happened with my neighbors and stuff that i will elaborate later because there are things that add up to come to be other things 
So I glazed it and I let it go. I let it go. You know, I was like, I'm not the one to freak out. I'm, I'm the type to fix stuff. I find solutions for everything. You tell me, trust me, I just want to say that. Just solutions for everything, man. I'll give you my opinion. Um, if not, but I always raise my hands and I say it's up to you. Um, so yeah, so I basically only have my three uh, ghosts. The little three apparitions that I've seen, the faces. Um, like I said, I do have a story on Slenderman that I want to talk about. Like I tried twice. I caught up to it, you know, and... I will elaborate on Slenderman on the fact that I um, believe it's like an energy that scares you to do things or like it scares you to bring it to yourself but I just have a theory on him and I want to give him his own video and, and yeah so welcome to my channel this is my channel I tried the video last time last time I was wearing a really cute shirt I was wearing the the what is it strange thing shirt from 11 um i believe i live within my experiences i am a pisces so i live in my imagination because you know living outside which is the basic world where you have to work and take care of people that's a basic instinct a basic need that should be done and then there is your actual life the mind it's like i believe scientists still I'm stuttering. I have a problem with that. This is also why I want to do this video because I have a, like, sometimes I stutter. So it could help me with my speech. So it's, um, this YouTube videos are going to be, um, just different type of therapies for myself. As in vlogging myself, catch, you know, just different things that are useful for yourself and as for other people to, you know. I don't know if you guys are gonna learn or even watch this but hope you guys like it and yeah so I that's something that I have in common like when I think about it strange things that sure would have been perfect it didn't happen this is how I looked so so yeah I leave it up to um the magnets of the world that they want to lead me to so this has been my channel so far hope you guys like it hope we catch up to it we catch up with everything and i'm able to elaborate on everything if not you know it is what it is it is what it is but um thank you very much for watching you guys could subscribe you guys could like i will be trying to load every day and i think i'm in such i've had like a little heavy sunday because it didn't work yesterday last time i took it down and i feel like I've just been lagging and I've been procrastinating and once I load this video it's gonna be a whole weight off my shoulders so because once I get it down my introduction like I said my name is Diana I am Ecuadorian I live in New York City I love New York City I will also elaborate in New York City and so yeah I um if you guys have any questions any comments anything you know i'm right here we're all about conversation that's how we communicate that's how we let the world know where we are who we are and how we are therefore for the people that have been doing their thing i salute you you have inspired me and thank you and youtube you got another one all right so thank you very much have a good night guys